Okay, we're here in the final day of Mayfair over at the Allentown Fairgrounds interviewing Scott Marshall from actually two bands he has. The band that played today was Marshall's Highway and you also have the Hillbilly Souls. Uh, you've been playing in the area for for several years. You, li you're, you live in the area, you're from here. South Mountain, and, South Mountain, born and raised maybe. And uh, I, I remember the first time I saw you guys at Music Fest and the song I fell in love with, Make Time and Original. So. Uh, I want to give a quick like background on about yourself and your music and everything. Give people a quick, just a quick idea about it. Sure. Lehigh Valley native, born and raised, top of South Mountain, Summit Lawn Exit, uh, West Rock Road, East Rock Road, Douglas Road, Lance Lane. It's my stomping grounds, power lines. Um, introduced to music at a really young age. Uh, my granddaddy's side had a junkyard, a body shop, muscle cars, and they were really into country music. The classic, classic country music. I remember Hee Haw on TV all the time when I was really little. And my mom's side, they were into the rock and roll. Uh, the Beatles, the Stones, my cousins, Aerosmith, you know, DC, DC, all the classic rock rates, the harder stuff. So I was always caught in the middle between the two. And when I started playing guitar, uh, kind of caught in the middle still. Uh, but I definitely gravitated uh, by the 80s, 90s towards the rock scene. But then I kind of came full circle. I, I, I found all those old, uh, old cassettes and old albums. And started meeting some guys that, you know, really into country music again. And I wasn't particularly fond of it at the time, but I kind of got into it again. And decided I'm going to put a band together. And I wanted the band to play not only my music as a singer-songwriter about life in the world the way I live it, but also the covers and the genres that I, I grew up influenced by. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, I know exactly. I, I was born in 71, so yeah, it was like uh, Kenny Rogers, I remember. Yeah, you know, yeah. back from the 70s, back when the country was defined by the twang of the steel guitar. And yeah, then the 80s, it was people. the Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton. You started to see more yeah, the, the crossover. The Pearl Haggards and, yeah. and Waylon Jennings was a huge influence on my life. Uh, but back to the genres, I just decided I want to play the music that I like. Yeah. And today's country is really cutting edge. I mean, there's some hip-hop in today's country. So I figure, why can't I combine rock and country and throw yeah. a little bit of bluegrass? It was a track. And, uh, <laughs> yep, we're at the fairgrounds. A bit of blues, yeah, and, and make it a recipe that hopefully everybody want to come back for seconds and thirds for. And that's exactly what's happening. Yeah, well, I just so interviewed... As a songwriter, I'm doing the same thing. Same thing with yeah. the genres, playing it, and, and running with it. I'm blessed. God has definitely blessed me, the guys, the music. And well, from the so samples cool. that you've given from something that you... Uh, uh, that after a few years have something to be very proud of and brag about. You gave people today at your show here a few samples of it. You can tell that it's the different genres. It's not just, you know, and even like you had James Super on stage, yes. you know, even a little bit of the blues and, and bluegrass mix thrown in there. Now, what was the one, what was the one thing, quote that you kept telling everybody about being challenged, the genre challenged or something like that when you're on stage? <laughs> Identity crisis. Yeah. Um, critics, well, that anybody's been critical, but critics or, or reviewers, they always, they never know how to bill us, like rock band, country band, blues band, bluegrass band, because of the hillbilly souls. And again, it's, I'm all the above. You know, some say I'm too rock for country, you know, and others say I'm too country for rock. So like some of the rock fans don't like me because I have this country edge. Right. And some of the country, you know, diehard fans, aren't particularly fond of me because I have this rock edge. Right. You know, and, and it's, I mean, we're, we're splitting hairs, but at the same time, overall, it's being warmly received. So, I like to joke and say I got an identity crisis. You know? I can tell you had that, you had that, say, it was basically, if they would have sold tickets, it would have been almost a complete sellout for your show today. Yeah, it was, I mean, and we were worried because, you know, it was really thin early on, and then, you know, they just come. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, don't knock you. Eventually, they might make that a criminal offense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're repeat offenders. We can sit yeah. repeat offenders. 
So, it's all good. but yeah, uh, you want to tell some people about your upcoming album and something you have, uh, the, you know, you have a lot to brag about with this. June 9th, we're having an, uh, an online sale. The album is not going to be for sale in hard copies, but it's going to be available on iTunes, Amazon, Rhapsody, uh, Xbox Music, whatever your digital download provider is. Uh, the album, These Wheels, it's highly anticipated. It took me a while to release it due to the death of my mother. I apologize if of, I touched on a sensitive subject. No, 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 it's all right. Um, a lot of variables and factors play into it. it's the delay. Uh, and the death of my mother and uh, uh, family illness and uh, things just got in the way. It wasn't God's timing. Man. But now it, it's, it's done June 9th. And because it took so long and because I'm so excited and it was all a part of you know, God's plan and his timing, we're going to donate a portion of the proceeds of the sale to the Race for Adam Foundation, American Cancer Society, uh, charities, local charities that help our military and their families and their music education programs from the digital downloads. So you got to buy the album. June 9th is the date that I need everybody to buy it. Okay. That's its official release, June 9th. And if we get a, a full load of sales, whatever we get, but if we get a full load of sales, that's some more money going to go to the charities. Virtually, uh, the management's like, yeah. because we, we're not, we'll make some money, but we ain't going to make much off the digital. Yeah. But the hard copies, when they come eventually, there we can. I said, it doesn't matter because when we keep paying it forward, keep trying to, to do unto others as we'd have done unto us and help those around us, you know, God will see my heart and then he'll continue to bless my music and my band. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Car I'm, I'm for lack of a better term, karma. Yeah, 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 I mean... You know, whatever you believe in, karma, okay. God, whatever, you know, <laughs> whatever you believe in. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, I mean, every time I've seen you for the past two years, what was the first question I asked you? When's the album coming out? Yeah. So if you have my, you know, piqued my interest that much, you know, it's, yeah, you and definitely did a good, jo good job. It comes right from the heart. Yeah. It's a really strong album. I hope it does well. I really do. Because it's my heart and my soul are in this thing. Yeah. I mean, you'll hear it. I, I had to include, we've been getting emails and, uh, on the website for fans who want songs that were off my first album. Yeah. That they, you can't buy anymore. So I talked to the producer, I talked to management, and I said, I'd like to include these songs, four songs from the first record. I'm like, it's going to be a 17-song album. That's a long album, man. And I'm like, that's okay. Yeah, it's a long album for today's standards. Yeah, and I was like, that's okay. It's either that or we release the first one again. You know? Yeah. And have to have to buy one song. I just want to give them the collection. So it's a strong album. I believe in it. From the depths of my heart. My heart and my soul are in it. And it, it for those, you know, you out there or yourself, do buy it. Just listen. When you listen to the, other, the music, the musicians, they're fantastic. But the lyrical content and the thought that went into it during the most difficult times of my life, writing these lyrics, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's powerful. I hope it does well, you know, but yeah, we'll see. Now, you, I just want to touch on that real quick. When you write, some people, especially in today's this is world, you know, in the industry, and in today's society, some people think, you know, you have people, bands and musicians out there are like, Okay, we want to try and write a hit, get signed, etc. But is it, do you, is it like also a way for you to like an outlet for you? Because some musicians and artists that's are all like it that. Is for me. That's all. That's all it is, is for me. Just, like when I when I introduce songs and I say, you know, I'm thankful. And I got my blessings. You know that you know, God's blessed me with a gift and a talent. It is. It came at a really early age. I knew that I was going to, to write music and play music. I knew. To what? extent or level of success that I have doesn't really matter to me. I mean, would I like to be on tour and be able to call this my only living right. and be touching the lives of, you know, millions of people all over the world? Well, sure. I mean, come on. What musician but, wouldn't? But it's all about whatever God's plan is. If this is as far as I go, festivals and fairs and, you know, some you know, stadiums and things like that, wherever, or small bars, hockey or backyard barbecues, 
whatever. It's whatever according to his plan. I won't say no if that comes. Yeah. But I'm I'm a purist. I'm not, there's no hidden agendas. I don't want to do this for the fame or the fortune or to get chicks or, or yeah. You know what I mean? But I was you do it because you love it. That came along with it, you know. And, yeah. But but even then I didn't revel in that much. Yeah. You know, it was always about writing good music. I mean, you say, oh, if you did more covers, you'd have a bigger crowd. I, I did, didn't matter to me. I'm a songwriter. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying, and especially in the area where the Lehigh Valley is, there's so many cover bands here. God bless them all. Yeah, yeah, I love them. It's just, you know, you gotta have the original in to break things up also. You know what I'm, I mean? It's, I'm an original. Yeah. And I've been, you know, doing it my way all these years, you know, and here recently, you know, sticking to my guns, mixing the genres, writing my own music, doing cover, original, cover, original, cover, original, and in places like this, you know, I'm doing 70, 30, and when I do like music fest or like I'm opening for a national act somewhere, it's all original. Yeah. That's what I want to be doing. Yeah. And I'm fortunate in Lehigh Valley because the Lehigh Valley breaking on us onto the scene and staying on the scene as original artists isn't or never has been easy. Yeah. Even when there were a lot of original, great original bands in the area. I remember the it's 90s. It's never been really easy. You know? Yeah. So I consider myself really blessed, man. Okay. And I'm stoked. That's why I'm so full of energy right now because I just got done playing with the highway, the full highway. Yeah. And you heard it, man. Those guys are... Yeah, I think it took me like 20 seconds to get the individual photos for each band member, so yeah. Now, final question, and I'll let you get going and relax and enjoy the rest of your Memorial Day. Get on my bike back there. Yeah. Get going, yeah. Um, advice to other musicians and, you know, bands and everything out there. Write, play from the park. Write, play from the park. You know, say your prayers if that's your thing. I mean, you know, but, you know, live your life, you know, according to the plan. And sometimes your plan isn't always the right plan or the perfect plan or the plan that's going to happen. But uh, treat others the way you want to be treated, especially in this business. Uh, don't burn any bridges. And write from the heart. Play from the heart. Okay. Give it everything, everything you got. Don't do it for the wrong reasons, you know. It makes you, it makes you feel good and you enjoy what you're doing and you're writing and playing from the heart. Good things are, are, are bound to come. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time. Final question. Did you enjoy the interview? I absolutely enjoyed the interview. Well, I enjoy you. You're a yeah. guy. I, I, I've always said that, you know, all the years, you know. And, 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 I appreciate you know, that, honestly. I, I appreciate what you're doing, what you're trying to do for the local music scene. It means a lot to me. And, uh, yeah, you know, your wheels are rolling in the right direction. And I cannot wait for that CD release party. June 9th. Yes. Download it. Downloaded June 9th. Yes. These wheels on iTunes, Scott Marshall, Marshall's Highway, Marshall'sHighway.com. That's where you can get to the website or you can visit me on Facebook at Scott Marshall and Marshall's Highway. June 9th. Okay. Download date. Keep your wheels turning in the right direction. That's all. You got it. Thank you very much for your time, Scott. I had a blast.